Howdy guys, Army of Otters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make $14,000 pretty quick, or caps, by collecting all the snow globes in Fall of New Vegas. I'm going to go in order, kind of like how kind of the main quest, in case you're new. But anyways, to do this, you just have to basically collect 7 snow globes and then turn them into uh, Mr. House's wife, Jane. So, we're going to start off here in Good Springs. We're going to head north of Good Springs, so there's Good Springs up here by this water tower, which is uh, Good Springs Cemetery. And over here on the left, there's going to be a grave with some rocks on top of it, and by the um, gravestone, there's going to be the snow globe. Our next snow globe is going to be located at Hoover Dam. As you can see here, I haven't discovered Hoover Dam. It can be kind of tricky to get to, so we're going to go to Boulder City, and if you head to the east of it, you're going to see these signs that say Hoover Dam this way. And they just want to go to follow the main road. Uh, pretty easy. You're going to see some more signs. I'm just showing you the signs. They just keep following the road. Eventually, you'll get to Hoover Dam. Um, I went ahead and discovered it, but anyways, you're gonna walk past this visitor center and you're gonna head in and the snow globe is gonna be on the front desk. So the next snow globe is gonna be located in Old Mormon Fort over in Freeside. To get here, you just want to travel to the Freeside East Gate and make your way through Freeside like you normally would if you were heading towards the Strip. And you're going to see this, you know, old fort on your right where you would normally go to the left to go to the Atomic Wrangler or to the Strip. You're going to go into the fort. And then once you're inside the fort, you're going to go to your right towards this uh, little, um, kind of like, I guess it's like a tower, kind of. Just trying to give you another location, but I'm um, kind of like this little tower, adobe, uh, kind of this little house. And you're going to go to the, climb the stairs, and it's going to be on the bookshelf in the uh, back of the room, or kind of front of the room, I guess. I kind of missed it here. The next snow globe is really easy to get. You're going to want to go to the strip. Uh, it is very beginning, and you're going to go back in Lucky 38. Um, if you're progressing along the main quest, you'll be invited in by Mr. House. Um, once inside, you're going to want to go to the uh, cocktail lounge, and there's nobody up there. You're going to want to walk all the way around. It's kind of like a circle at the top, and you're going to want to walk all the way around, and it's going to be behind the cash register with a green lamp next to it. The next snow globe is located on the strip, in the very back of the strip. Um, I recommend having a 50 lock pick. You don't need it though, but you might want to have a good sneak or a stealth boy because this lady at the front, you're going to have to pickpocket her key. Anyways, it's in Vault 21, which is like a hotel slash casino on the strip. So if you don't have 50 Hi, lock pick, Sarah, you're going to have to uh, pickpocket the uh, key to her room from her. So I, I'm just kind of talking to her here, but you'll see me um, pickpocket her. And I don't want to actually take the key, I'm just showing you where it would be. You'd want the pass card actually, not the dresser, you want the pass card. Anyways, you want to head down to the vault. It's not your traditional vault either, it doesn't like have a big, big door or whatever. It's just right there. Anyways, we're going to head down in the room, or Sarah's room is going to be on like the, kind of like the northeastern side of the vault. Um, just follow what I do, uh, the exact path I take, but just kind of stay left, and you can't miss it. This is the second door on this hallway. I'm just making sure I'm hidden, and I pick it. Really easy for me. Uh, lucky, I guess. And it's going to be in between these two beds on the little nightstand. So this next one I forgot to show an in-game map, but it's at Nellis Air Force Base. Um, you can see the gun runners there in the middle. You can pause that if you need it. But anyways, this one can be a little bit tricky, and it's probably one of the probably the second hardest to get because you can get blown the fuck up. If you're uh, following the main quest, you'll have to go here no matter what. But I recommend saving just like I did before you go in, and make sure you bring a good amount of stim packs. Also, if you have companions like I do, um, they're gonna get blown up probably. Um, at one point, you're gonna see Boone just go fucking flying. Anyways, the best thing you can do is kind of swerve back and forth. That uh, guy that's in front of you that you just saw at the beginning of the transition, he will like sell you information or something for a ridiculous amount of caps. I would recommend not buying it. You can you can just run for it. Um, 
and just make sure you use your stim packs. If you have a doctor's bag, you can use that. Um, really not that hard though. Um, I kind of fucked it up actually pretty good. I moved pretty slow, but um, you know, uh, make sure you save definitely before you do this. Anyways, you don't have to wait or anything. I just waited to try and get Boone back um, since he was unconscious. But you're just going to walk up to this gate, and this guy's going to talk to you and threaten to blow you up. Um, you want to walk down here to the, where the road is, and he's going to threaten to blow you up. Just be nice about it. Um, then this girl's going to talk to you, and you just um, then they'll basically take you to their leader, which is um, some old lady. And just tell her you'll help her around Nellis Ooh, Air right Force there. Base. Um, she's actually glad to see an outsider, so um, she'll basically tell you she's happy Welcome to see the outsider and uh, that you can I've help her around the uh, base that's part of like the main quest or I think you can just kill them all I mean it's up to you if you just want to be a dick anyways once you complete the conversation you just want to head straight outside and I didn't really know to go here but it's in one of these like barracks um, I went in the wrong one it's not in those two. I sped it up just because it's a waste of time. It's in the it's in the last one of those three. So there's the building you were in. You're going to come out here. This is going to be the furthest one on the right, and it's going to be on your immediate right once you go inside the hut. So the last snow globe is in Jacobstown. Uh, this can be a little bit of a pain to discover, but basically you're going to want to go to this location where I am here, and you're going to want to follow this road. Um, there's going to be some Cazadors um, along the road, and some of those uh, Mantis things, but it should, if you bring enough stem packs and some anti-venom, it shouldn't be too tough. Well, um, then when you get here, you're going to be confronted by the super mutant, and he says, hey, just like any other town, you know, pretty basic stuff. Um, so anyways, here's Jacobstown and relative location in the strip. Anyways, we're going to head inside this big, I guess, like, lodge or whatever it is, mansion. And the snow globe is going to be right on the front desk. Another human. What was it? Alright, so once you have all your snow globes, or you can just turn them in individually, up to you. You want to go to the Lucky 38, and you want to go to the penthouse where uh, Mr. House is located. Um, as I said before, if you kill Mr. House, you cannot do this. You will not get your 2,000 caps. Um, but anyways, uh, 2,000 caps is a piece. So 7 snow globes uh, times 2,000 is uh, 14,000 caps. So anyways, talk to this lady, Jane. And I got some snow globes from Mr. House's collection, and she'll give you the 14,000 bottle caps. This is a very easy way to make some quick casts, especially if you're new to the game. I did this while level 11. Also, guys, just to let you know, your snow globes don't disappear. If you go to your presidential suite, in the room on the right of the elevator, uh, top right, um, and with the pool table, all of your snow globes will appear on this sh uh, kind of shelf. And on the top shelf, that's for the four DLC snow globes that you can get. Um, there are also you get caps for those, except for the Sierra Madre one. Um, if you guys want, I can do a guide on those two. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer them as soon as possible.